Alright, so my name is Taka Auto 101 from Team Four Star. I voice a Napa Guru Dende, Bardock, and Cell. I also am a co writer and a director of Helsing Ultimate Abridge, and I am the co writer and co producer of Final Fantasy VII Mission Abridge with this gentleman right here. Yeah, yeah. In Helsing, I play Alucard, and in FF7, I play Reno and Red Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Manfish, and I am as well. Yes, that's the new norm. I like it. I like it. It sounds really good, actually. I think it, 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 these acoustics are very good. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, uh, I am in Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I voice Captain Ganyu, Dodoria, Salza, Nikki, and I'm going to be playing Mr. Satan. Can I get a nail Satan? I wasn't even mad because it was a bot that did it. 
It's a robot. It was a program. It was an algorithm. And that's kind of cruddy, but you know that's just how it is. The best you can do, man. <laughs> Pray. Yeah. <laughs>
this is the one with the, with the six. Oh, uh, six sticks. Sheep. Oh, I remember doing Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. To be continued outside, I guess. Uh -huh. All right, now uh, we got here hard, hard tongue twisters from Tongue Twisters American League. For here we go, here we go, here we go. A big, a big bug, but a bold bald bear, and a bold bald bear bled blood badly. Oh God! No. All right, tongue twisters. Here we go. Let's get the really one. Oh, here we go. Where's the chic? Where's the chic one? The chic one is so hard. I did that in class once. Yeah, I did. The six sick sheeps, six sheeps sick. The sick, sick sheeps. Six sheep's sick. The sick, sick shoot! <laughs> All right, next question. We got one. All right, we got one. We got one. You, sir, in the other red shirt. Yeah, thanks. Uh, one for Ataka and one for uh, Fisher. For Ataka, uh, even though the idea might not go in the future, is there any attempt to bring back the idea you had of mirrors with King Candy voice? Oh, better than King Candy. He should just be King Julian from Madagascar. All right. <laughs> All right. Whis, I want to go to the planet Earth. <laughs> Your Majesty, I don't think that's such a good A quiet wheeze! I heard of a place called Smokes Poutine. <laughs> it is really good, I will say. What's a poutine? I want a poutine my hands in it. <laughs> and I want a poutine in my mouth. <laughs> just imagine that. Imagine that for a whole season. <laughs> yes! I just like food. You and me can get along. Yes, but I hate certain food. That's impossible. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> And a fiend, Beerus. And you slap my wife. Don't make it personal, Vegeta. <laughs> and for Yeah, and uh, what would you say, or what would you think Barrett would say in character, or in the Jennifer version, about the idea of Cloud being in Smash Brothers? Cloud? When did you allow this to happen? And why am, not, why am I not in that and an assist trophy? <laughs> Barrett should be a summon. Ah, uh, yeah. Goddamn right, I should be a summon. You ever seen me do that? Soul beam from Akira. <laughs> this has pronounced y'all Akira, like a car. You can be my seven any day. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Avalanche time. Avalanche time. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. Matt from the Best Friends Play, what is your question? I actually have a very serious question. What? Oh, shit. Uh, if DBZ didn't exist, like, it, or if it, you, there was some sort of legal reason why you could never touch it at all, but you all still wanted to do it, is there like an anime you would have made into your DBZ bridge? Like, is there one that you would have, like, it would have been a replacement for it? Hmm. I could say if there would ever be something that could be on a, on a, hit, hit a level of, like, people who don't generally like anime who also like it, Fall Metal Alchemist. Yeah. That'd be the one. No, that'd be the one, I think. Because FMA, and, and especially FMA Brotherhood, is it's a better show for us. Yeah, that's the, yeah, no, no, I'll debate that later. Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is, it hit a, like, just from a lot of us in general, it hit a mainstream success. So people who genuinely don't like anime also went, yeah, that's pretty good. Because it wasn't an anime, per se, as it was a, a story being told through an anime medium. And I think the best shows are the ones that do. That's why, uh, who here saw, yeah, Attack on Sight. Who here saw Erased? Yeah, wasn't that great? Yeah. yeah. That wasn't an anime, was it? No. That was just a good drama. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. No, I'd say that'd be, what would you say, Yanfish? I don't know, because, like, you, you do make a good point for, uh, Final, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, the one I would, well, I mean, Naruto kind of already said, but Naruto and Full Metal kind of came out at the same time, but I guess Full Metal had more of an impact because when people who weren't into anime saw it, didn't Naruto, overstay it, it didn't overstay its welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta I can't wait. Now. I, 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 job first. I can't wait for Full Metal Alchemist Shippuden <laughs> <laughs> when there's a whole new homunculus group. And then they have a kid called Bedward. <laughs> Bedward. Bedward. Actually, I have an idea. I don't. I don't know why I thought of this, but immediately, uh, Cyborg 009. I feel yeah. like because uh, it's just nine, like nine people. Just they each have their own unique personalities. You put them in a room. You can make anything with that. We could write an always sunny in Philadelphia style comedy with them. Yes. No, for sure. Yeah. All a bunch of asshole cyborgs. <laughs> and I think if I if I were to abridge a couple series, FMAB, mm -hmm. Persona 4. Yeah. 
Outlaw Star. Yeah. Those yes. are the three. Those are the trifecta. <laughs> Excellent. We really killed the mood with the snapping. I like the snapping. <laughs> All right. Ampesh, pick someone. You, because you already had your hand. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When I'm, getting, I'm writing it right now. So once I'm done writing it, then once I'm, you know, it's, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I write an episode without Alucard, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating on Alucard. <laughs> what? We're talking about Helsing now. None of us are the not there. Right. That's right. I want to get child services my son here. He's supposed to be with his mother. Oh, I brought her a kid. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that hot? No. Dilf. <laughs> total dilf over here. <laughs> Dad, I'd like to have fun with. <laughs> Good Dairy Queen. Take that boy, Dairy Queen. <laughs> Bitches love Dairy Queen. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Hey, uh, thanks for talking. Yeah. Uh, so having seen uh, the Dragon Ball Z uh, Battle of Gods movie. Yeah. How much did you feel that was kind of shout out to the stuff that you guys did? It wasn't. I, no? it, it, here's the thing, you gotta remember that Toriyama likes writing silly stories. And that felt more like a Dragon Ball story than a Dragon Ball Z story. So I think he just kind of, after he hadn't written anything for a very long time, he's like, alright, I'm gonna write a silly story with God of Destruction hanging out at a picnic with all the guys. So I think it was, I think it was good fun, I thought it was good and silly, because the original Dragon Ball was very silly. Z is where it got way too serious. Way too serious. So, uh, as much as I wish we had some influence, we didn't. We know we didn't. <laughs> Alright, next question. User over there. Right here. Long, with a moderately long, moderately long hair. Oh, uh, what's your life in Dragon You know, it's getting to be the point that there's so many lines I'm enjoying now. There is a cell line in the next episode that I love so much because it, it, is, it, is a, a, it is a three point joke that keeps getting, it's Cell with no one around losing his shit a little bit, it's Perfect Cell. And it's really funny. I think uh, in Perfect Cell talking to Nikki Town, or also, also Cell, uh, overall a future effort, but if it's any consolation, ah, oh, that hurt like hell. After an Android 16's line, when he says, like, wait, oh my god, I see a light. Walk towards it. Yeah. And then blast him. <laughs> it's just so good. I love it. Also, I have a second part of that question. Yeah. What is your favorite cell game in the original series? When he bitch slaps Hercule out of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> was he friends with someone or something? Who was that? <laughs> what a goddamn cinnamon butt of a human being. My god. <laughs> And then Shawn Michaels and Big Bam Vader right there. <laughs> Big Bam Vader. Big, yeah, Big Vader. There you go. Yeah. Big What's B. your favorite DBZA line? Oh my god. It really is hard, because like every time a new episode comes out, I just lose my shit. Like any Android 16 is probably my favorite character. Why? Like just like it don't it will be televised. What channel? <laughs> 16 bring in the punchline game. Oh yeah. The punchline game and hard. I, I do really like that that walk towards the line because it's supposed to be like oh, but it's such a so badass, but it's not. I actually want that to be a shirt with just sixteen, like with no, with just a silhouette of sixteen with his hands down, and the energy beam just writes "walk towards the light," <laughs> blasting down. But I guess it's very like, nihilistic in a way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd he's an he's. I am Android sixteen. I am about three things: killing Son Goku. <laughs> Birds, killing Son Goku. <laughs> <laughs> it's a running old killing Son Goku sandwich. Mm. Yum, yum. <laughs> Next question. All right. You there in the back, sir? Where's Broly? Stop. See what you've done. See if now he's going to be like that. For the Turn next the cameras hour. off. Turn the cameras off. I'm going to kill everyone. <laughs> Game start. <laughs> Better question. Who's Broly? Follow up question. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a question. 
we should, we should we should just make him that one evil villain from the from the South Park episode where where Jimmy's really popular at handicap camp. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, Commissioner Don. I like the cool breeze. <laughs> <laughs> the wind of the lands will soon be coming towards our arrival. He's so evil. Right. He's so evil. <laughs> Anyone can be evil. It's true. All right. Next question. Second. Have you ever written a line? This is for both of you, obviously. But have you ever written a line and you're like, this sounds really funny, and then you actually go and record it and it's like, no. Mm. Yeah. I, you know, there are some. I'm trying to think of one specifically. I, I, I remember one from FF7 MA uh, when, in episode 7, where uh, they're like, where's Avalanche? And they're like shooting everybody, and we get like the pan up of Barrett just like, just shooting everybody. Originally, the line was like, "You like that bitch? You like that bitch? You like that, sir? You like that?" But like, it was it was weird. So I improv, and I thought, "Okay, what would he say?" So I was just like, "Shooting lead, okay, lead lead buffet. The Barrett lead buffet is open for business." And I just yelled that, and I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> and nobody knew. Me. And no one commented on it once. No, not once. But I am so happy. Uh, there's a joke that I thought wasn't funny that was. And it was one of Alucard's like, because Kaiser wrote a part of, you know when, uh, you know when um, the These actual, words. you know when the actual uh, episode, in episode three, where Integra and, uh, uh, the, and Rico Maxwell are, uh, are talking in the actual museum. And Alucard comes out, I thought the whole like rant about like, oops, tautology, and, like people really liked that like heavy like Christian like rant. And I didn't find it funny, but Kaiser's was like, no, no, people will love it, and people liked it. I'm like, god damn it, I hate it when I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, or sometimes, like, I thought Jesus Wants a Hug was pretty funny. I didn't think it was that funny, though, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did no one ever notice Jesus is just doing this over all of Brazil? <laughs> what? Someone, I live in Brazil. I need a hug more than ever. I have the Zika virus. <laughs> Man, are you, are, you look, are you looking forward to uh, uh, Apocalyptix 2016? Is that what it's being called that? I love Apparently, it. Apparently, a New Zealand, the new, one, a New Zealand uh, Olympian got off his plane, walked out two blocks to the airport, and got bumped immediately <laughs> in front of police officers. They didn't do anything. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be. <laughs> the, also, the, the, the Rio Olympic Committee has advised everyone in the open water competitions to not open their mouths when they're in the water. <laughs> oh, shit. Otherwise, they'll get sick. I'm like, great event, guys. It's like Munich times 10. What? Oh, man, no, no, we don't want Munich times 10. <laughs> no, no. Alright, next question. Uh, fingerless gloves. Yeah. Oh, sure, absolutely. All right. You play Chatsu. <laughs> Clearly. I know Chatsu. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm not a Pokemon on Chatsu. Chatsu. No, you, you start with Pokemon. Look, Vegeta! A Pokemon! I'm not a Pokemon! I'm Chatsu! Chatsu! Hear that, Vegeta? It's a Chatsu. I'm gonna catch it and then keep walking because it's gonna be Team Instinct for life. <laughs> <laughs> Really cool. Shut up. You just hate that our leader's cooler. He is cooler. I mean, no, he's not. <laughs> team Instinct. And I like how like everyone for the longest time was making fun of Team Instinct, like posting those gifts of like Moltres, Articuno, Big Bird falling through some boxes. Ha <laughs> uh -huh, Instinct sucks. And then the leaders roll out, and then all of a sudden Mystic and Valor. Hey, I was said you suck. Stop having fun. Stop enjoying your team. Here's, here's what I'd like to imagine happens in the house. Valor's just like, hey, Instinct, I bet you can't do a handstand. I bet you I can! And then they do it, and then Instinct breaks his neck, and Mystic's like, what did I tell you guys? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh man, I'm on Team Michelangelo. You are on oh, Team Michelangelo. So awesome. Who here's on Team Michelangelo? Raise your hand. Woo! So obviously Valor is Raphael. Yeah. And Mystic. Where is Don? Donatello is Harmony. Yeah. No, Tawny. <laughs> Good old Tawny. Good old Donny. All right, next question. Okay, yeah, I'm just freaking out right there, like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, you say something in an Apple voice. 
Yes. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> Jonathan, look at me. Look at me. I am your father, Jonathan. And when you come home from school, you know what I see? A Dairy Queen bitch. <laughs>